let's uh, uh, let's turn off the other stream uh, so that I can stream this one. Uh, there is a lot of exciting stuff happening in the World Cup today, as always. Um, so we have many, many a game going on. Uh, let's just post up. Uh, I'm sure there's a link to it earlier, but let's just look for... Get these links up. Um... All right, so they've started Dragon versus Scorpion. Um, reasonably excited about this. There's plenty of people watching the game from both teams. Uh, Scorpion gets a great Hinrun Dojo flip. Less useful characters this turn, but uh, you know, Separate Truth Seeker for, for cheap is going to be fine. Obviously, the storehouse can blow up, and then you can get sort of another flip there. Um, and of course, it flipping at one of the middle provinces is always what you want. And knowing Scorpion luck, it will be on a secret cache or something. Dragon goes for a nice safe Akash of Swordsmith opening. Uh, you know, doesn't invest too much fate. If it gets assassinated, you're not too worried with one fate on. Nice bit of card draw so that you can keep some efficiency going. Um, let's bring up the deck list so we can see what sort of dragon they're running. I mean, just by the aspiring challenger, I'm guessing we've got a sort of more dueling focused dragon thing going on. But let's just confirm. Do, do, do. Um, da, da, da. Right. World Cup Round 1. Round 1 has been going quite uh, effectively. Most teams seem to be getting a lot of games in. Uh, it's very good. Um, personally, I am... Happy my team has managed to get, I think, three games in so far. We're 2-1 and it's Team England. Uh, though there are, of course, the usual uh, scheduling problems. So that is to be expected. Hopefully no one will have any concessions. So we have Barbas Drow, hashtag 6591, versus Xenopat, whose Discord name is different to their Jigoku name, which is always a bit confusing. Um, right, so Dragon is playing a Dishonor dueling deck, Miramoto Daisho, with the Reprieve Watch Commander Splash. Um, interesting callouts. It's a triple way of the Dragon, which is a bit rare. Um, Hawk tattoos, so we'll have to watch for those. Two Indomitable Will and two Warm Welcome, so a lot of sort of shenanigans. Uh, on the Dynasty side, it's a lot more sort of regular. Uh, except for these aspiring challengers, you know, prudent challengers, lots of duels, lots of duelists, three probable ground. No Imperial Palace, though, which could be a bit interesting. Um, the Scorpion has gone hard Dishonor. Um, you know, Soshi, um, no, not Soshi Daimyo, Mark of Shame, Seeker of Knowledge, All or Nothing, Backhanded Compliments, Display of Power, all that sort of thing. Very looks similar to um, Palumbo's deck from Atlanta. So I think it was Atlanta. So yeah, um, where the dragon gets dishonored, it can be hard to dishonor a dueling dragon deck because, of course, one of the benefits of stealing one honor per duel is that you get to avoid the dishonor loss. So, you know, that's quite good. Um, so the Sepid Truth Seeker comes out. Obviously, he got the passing fate with that Hidden Moon Dojo flipped up. And is going in on a military void conflict. Uh, dragons pass theirs as Dragon are want to do in the early game. Um, and we see a falling diplomat flip open. So of course Hidden Moon Dojo already winning. Um, that's a bit interesting. I don't know that I would have used an all or nothing here. I mean. Because all or nothing is one of your combo pieces to get the Dishonor in. I mean maybe he's already clocked that he's not going to Dishonor because of the thing. But. You've got five rings open, so why are you wasting it all or nothing to go on the Earth ring when you could have just gone Earth if Earth is what you wanted? The Dragon player would have had to spend cards to defend anyway, so actually, if you thought he was more likely to defend Earth than Void, then you should have declared Earth and made him play cards to defend with the Swordsmith. You know, and if you really want the favour, you buy a Ford Diplomat. So that's a bit weird. Um, 
a very early use of all or nothing and i personally think potentially a wasted use as it's more common to use all or nothing to get that uh that air ring effect in when you, it's critical on a values going on um so we'll see we'll see i mean we don't know what he drew with it so we'll see if it plays out but i think that's a bit a bit strange so second pass from the dragon as per normal don't want to waste cards early game don't want to overextend don't want to give his opponent an excuse to assassinate um though he probably would anyway if he had the swordsmith because it's always good to get rid of that dragon card draw is the scorpion player running finger of jade let's have a look not finger of jade i can swim so he's running one i can swim three fate worse than death so he does have a lot of things that this finger of jade could have been valuable to stop um but that's you know we'll see if those come out later on i think you know three for shame three way of the scorpion one banzai two assassination so he has got lots of things that he could do um we see a tide favor we see the truth seeker, le truth seeker leaving so that's um you know the fate gone Probably going to keep this right, Surugu. Going to buy it. Certainly, what I would do, though it does depend how much armor you have in your hand when you know your opponent is running some filthy tricks. Um, the bids could drop this turn. Um, I think Scorpio would be happy to leave the dragon on five, so maybe the dragon will go down to three, um, and then try and push for an air ring to take him up to um, take him back up to nine. Uh, equally, he could go five. Uh, the thing is, he's not first player, so it might be safer for him just to go three. If he was first player, going air would be quite nice. Um, Righteous Magistrate. What does this one do again? While this character is defending, players cannot gain or lose honor. That's a bit of an odd play, because obviously he is playing a Dishonor deck. Uh, maybe he's just doing that because you can defend and stop an honor gain then. Um, though what honor gains happen, I guess he can block an air ring and prevent his opponent from gaining two. Uh, I think that works in terms of the ordering. I mean, that's got to be the only benefit. I mean, you don't want to stop the honor loss at all. Yeah, so we see that, that bid drop down. Though, interestingly... Mm. No, I think this is going to hurt the dragon quite a lot. He's now in quite a dangerous range. Uh, 14 cards versus 16. He does have a bit of an advantage there. He does have his investigator to sort of pull out um, a backhanded or something that might drop him even lower. But he does have to worry that if he goes air ring, he's going to get display of power and just be in a worse situation. Uh, right. Is he running any sort of cancel? These dual decks sometimes run censure. No, he's not running. He's not running anything like that. He does have defend your honor, so he could potentially use that. Twenty-four attachments, thirty events, three characters. That's just dragon for you, unless you're playing Shirakitsuki, which we all will be soon because it's exciting to have a new option. Not because it's amazing, because it's exciting to have a new option. The Falling Diplomat comes out. We get a reprieve. I don't know why there isn't 3 fate on this Investigator. I mean, we're already on turn 2. Even if he tries to kill it, if it has 3 fate on, it's going to stick around for longer. I definitely would have put more on it myself. Uh, the noted thing is that... What's the restricted list card for the Dragon Player? Oh, it's Policy Debate. Okay, so... I mean, buying this uh, Investigator and stacking it up would have probably been a safe shout, especially because you can pull a lot of the dangerous cards out of your opponent's hand with him. So maybe a bit more fate would have been a good idea there. Of course, he can't trigger the Miramoto Dojo um, reliably. Um, well, at least he can't trigger it to win. If you have a Dojo, he you can still trigger it to get that point of honor back, 
which you might do if you are starting to be decided by the Scorpion player. So this really depends now, because if the Dragon player can get that Miramoto Daisho on the table and get some of these jewels rolling, then this 5 bid would definitely have been the right decision, because... He would have. He will have the card advantage from the hand size, and then have the uh, the honor the honor coming back to him from the uh, from the die show. And of course, the city of the open hand will be turned off for a lot of the game until the dragon player is ready to start firing off these combo pieces. Um, so that could end up actually working in his favor. Do you defend here? I think maybe you just defend with the um, Doom Shigenja. Very likely your opponent has an assassinate now. So, you know, you defend with the Doom Shigenja, you trigger the ability, then he assassinates. You're going to lose the Earth Ring. Lose an honor. Mm. So maybe you do defend with two. It's a bit of a tricky call. Then again, he hasn't got air. So he's probably counting on the fact that you're going to display of power. Or you're going to attack air and then he's going to display of power. Alibi Artist, lovely flip with Hidden Moon Dojo. Um, but then after this attack, so you attack with the Investigator on Political Air. You look at the hand, you ditch Display of Power if there's one there. Though with 7 Fate, you probably just get a Fate worse than Death. Yeah, and on turn 1 as well. I mean, it, it's always going to flip up on turn 1 with that, uh, that HMD. So, you know, that's pretty standard, really. <laughs> Because you mulligan for it, and then it always shows up. It's a 50-50 chance to be in a good position. And we don't even know what the province underneath it is yet. It's probably something suitably horrific. So now they're tied again uh, with the Scorpion coming out. So, yeah, it's a fairly efficient way to make sure this province is still breaking. Forty Diplomat doesn't care, it's only got zero glory. I think the real thing is that you have to decide whether or not you're going to attack with this investigator. Oof, lost a reprieve. That's a bit painful. Because obviously if you attack air with this investigator, you're opening yourself up to a lot of risks. Uh, you might have two display of powers, in which case you'll drop down to four honor. Uh, you might hit shameful, which would be pretty tragic. Um, and all these other things going on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the odds are what? Yep, yep, well, there we go. <laughs> Pretty standard. HMD on secret cash. Break it the first time or cry for the rest of the game as you lose both fate and card advantage to the same same thing. Um, I don't know what the odds are, actually, of HMD showing up on secret cash. Just one of those things. Someone will do the maths. So he went water, which is an interesting choice. Um, I guess this is the one he cares least about if he gets display of power. So it's quite a safe attack. Um, and maybe you want to attack on the water ring to try and get a break. Defend on the political, try and see what you can scout out with the Kitsuki investigator. And if you somehow win this conflict, then of course you can ready the swordsmith and do a political attack after that. Maybe chucking down a figure of Jade or Reprieve to keep it around for next turn, and then Mount Zavil Castle might get you a break. So this is about chat. I think the Water Ring is probably the safest call here, and you know it's quite nice that it's uh, there. And... Right. No defense and pass. Most likely with 15 cards drawn has one of his two assassinates in his hand. So I imagine that the second this Doom Chigenja gets a card played on it that makes it breaking, it's going to die. Um, okay, so Tattooed Wanderer, two targets. That's actually a good shout. Um, so now if he assassinates one of them, you can just boost the other one and that's a good chance to break.
I mean, you've got 14 on her. You can afford to assassinate this Doom Chikendra and get another card out to force a break from the hand. And as the dragon character player, you absolutely have to overcommit to breaking this. Oh, wow. We just see a pass. I mean, that's an easy secret cash right there. Um, Hidden Moon Dojo got as well. Didn't even play the Alibi Artist. I think that's a mistake. Um, I definitely would have played this Alibi Artist onto the table if you've got Seven Fate. Um, I mean, I know you're saving your money to finger uh, to um, a fate worse than death, this um, Kitsuki Investigator, but even so, uh, you know, get that Alibi Artist, you know, it sticks around for a turn or two, try and lose some honor. What have we got then in terms of... So he's running three calling in favors as well. So any armor that this Kitsuki Investigator gets could easily disappear. Uh, I'm assuming Yojimbo, that's an odd call. How many of those is he running? He is running one. One assuming Yojimbo. So his conflict characters are two Goblin Sneak, one Seeker of Knowledge, two Shuris the Darko, one assuming Yojimbo, and one Kachiko. So a full range of abilities there. Um, not a lot of consistency in this deck at all. Uh, lots of one-offs. Calling in favours of a Tattooed Wanderer to get a second Covert. I love it. So now he can do a double Covert uh, political attack. Will only be Strength 3, but that's enough to break uh, Shameful. So... Uh, so the honor totals happen because they both bid five, and the dragon player bid five, and the scorpion player bid one. Um, and then there was, uh, I think, an airing claim. No, there was just an undefended on turn one uh, on the dragon player side. Yeah, so five, 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 one, and then the scorpion players on fourteen, uh, fourteen to five. And they're both sort of not defended. I think it's one conflict each. And then the City of the Open Hand counts for the other one on the dragon side. The real interesting thing is that despite the fact that the Scorpion player had been won this turn, his hand size is still larger than the dragon's. He's just been playing less cards more efficiently. And of course, all or nothing as a cantrip on an Earth Ring claim so cloud the mind get rid of this double covert so now there's no covert yeah he definitely has to drop his honor i mean he needs to get this stronghold back on and back on while his opponent is on five um, i was saying then before a lot of people joined that of course the dragon player is playing the du the dueling uh watch commander uh, Miramoto Daisho deck, and of course, if he gets that Daisho lock on next turn, maybe with this right Sugu that comes out and starts bleeding those points of honor, it's going to be very hard for this dishonor focus scorpion to get him off the table. Um, you know, they may not be able to bid high, but the dragon player certainly will have more capability just on straight up conquest. Um, so that will be interesting to see if it goes that way. So now the political attack on the shameful display, which has already been used. Um, <laughs> that is true this uh, scorpion deck is an all or nothing uh, choice uh, it really just has a lot of cards that are good at doing one job and you have to just commit to doing it um, I mean that is how you get those turn two dishonor bombs and one card left in your hand um, so three strength comes in three strength defends finger of jade do you Finger of Jade here first? Do you Kitsuki Investigator first? I guess you do Finger of Jade because then he has to play Calling in Favors to take it. And then that gives you the free action anyway to use the A Fate Worse Than Death. So that seems fine. I guess we see how badly the Scorpion player wants to win this. I guess he doesn't want to break Restoration, so breaking Shameful now would be all right. Um, the rest of the Dragon player's province lineup is... Uh, before the Throne, Upholding Authority, and Along the River of Gold. 
So actually, if he breaks Shameful, he's still got to go through either Restoration, Upholding, or Before the Throne, and then eventually hits along the River of Gold, which can be quite painful to a clan like Scorpion. So that's actually not bad from the Dragon Player's side. I mean, he's not going to go to Restoration. If he went to Upholding Authority, it could still be quite painful. And then if he went to Before the Throne... I think the Before the Throne is the one he wants to find next, because then he can flip it and just start farming it for rings for the rest of the the game. Uh, two of Fate Worse Than Death, two Assassination, two Backhanded Compliments, Calling in Favours, Court Games, Triple Court Games, Display of Power and Peasant's Advice. This is a... This is a... This is a dangerous hand. This is a powerful hand. So even if you ditch a fate worse than death, you can still get it played on you. I think you ditch the calling in favors so that um, so that he can't steal your finger of jade. I think that's a solid play because uh, then two of the three calling in favors would be gone. No, yeah, two of the three. So actually now he's only got one piece of ways to get rid of... Um, Yeah, I don't know why he didn't use Assassinate on HMD either. Um, I was saying that that was probably the play. Even with the second character in play, you'd be forcing a card out of his hand. Um, and you need to drop your honor. So that doesn't really make sense. Uh, and now the Watch Command has come out. Which could, in the long run, be beneficial for Scorpion. Because it'll let him bring his honor down a bit. But um, I think it's also going to be a bit of a tax. And he doesn't seem like he's uh, committed to um, to playing sort of on the edge and, and getting himself lower. I guess maybe the Scorpion player is kind of worried that if he goes low, the Dragon player can Daisho bomb him, which is something that Scorpion decks are quite uh, sort of quite susceptible to. But equally, that is his deck's only strategy. So if he doesn't commit to it, then he, he's got nothing. So policy debate comes out. I think now you maybe get rid of what a fate worse than death, get rid of one of those. Display of power? I think display of power is the best shout, actually. Um, I mean, he's 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 been in every conflict this turn. Except, wow, he didn't defend the one, which was the one he needed to defend. But he has attacked twice, so... Clearly, this scorpion is one that fights. Uh, so, double policy debate. First, you get rid of display of power. Very solid. Uh, I think there's three in the deck, so there's still more to come out. But if it's not one in his hand, that means you get a free uh, second attack on air. And now we get Censure out. Yeah, Censure's a good shout as well. I think a lot of these cards would be a good choice. Uh, I mean, getting rid of those backhanded compliments, as you say, Jess, would be uh, sort of a good way to get rid of combo pieces later on, prevent that Dishonor Bomb. But realistically... I don't think this dragon deck has to worry about going that low. Um, the fate worse than death would be good, but now that they're not there and now you're getting rid of his uh, finger of jades, you're a lot less worried about those fate worse than death than you were at the start. So I think with one calling in favors left, if we if that gets knocked out of his hand, then the dragon player is going to be laughing for the rest of this game. So uphold the authority, not enough to break. Court games to dishonor, no display of power. Yeah, assassinate for sure needs to come out on this Agasha Swordsmith. Like, there's no way you don't play it. You're, you're going to drop him for four honor and stop the... Or you're going to drop him for... Drop an honor, you pay four, which puts you down to nine. So you might get to start using your box at some point soon. And you stop the airing claim. Yeah, that's a, that's absolutely sensible. Yeah, I mean, getting rid of one backhanded compliment is a bit questionable. But once you start getting to like rid of two or three, um, I think you do get up to sort of good, you know, it is it is very good insulation against... Because the, the main way that Scorpion players end out these sorts of matchups is with that backhanded compliment. And it just increases your honor, like lower honor cap, you know, where it's three before and now it can be four, where you can be safe. Um Yeah, the dragon player is first next turn, so he could hit up a political um, heir, and then of course look at the hand and ditch any um, display of powers that show up. 
which is fairly um, fairly safe. Uh, yeah, he definitely has the um, he definitely has the tools to cause the honor loss. I guess the question is what, how much you know, is the dragon player going to invest in? Um, you know, because if he got a die show onto this investigator, then I suppose he's already played two of his policy debates, though, so he's not going to be getting much honor that way. He really needs to get enough fate to get a uh, right Sugu out and get the die show on, and then just start dueling, which he hasn't saved for. It would have been a lot better if he had sort of tried to save. I think we'll get two one bids this game, uh, this turn even. I don't think we'll get a higher bid from anyone. Um, the hand sizes are equal. The Scorpion player is seeing an alibi artist, which is not going to be any use, actually, because he's not below six honor. Um, so he'll bid one anyway in the hopes that maybe his opponent will bid high, but I don't think this dragon player is even going to bid two. I think he just goes with one. Get out of a swordsmith for another bit more draw. And then this turn you want to save as much of this forfeit as possible so the next turn you can get right Sugu and then get a die show on it and start your dueling engine. Sorry, just had to pause for a second to try and get my own World Cup match scheduled because it was supposed to be in an hour, but it has been uh, postponed. Um, so, Doom Shigenja, Alibi Artist, Digash's Swordsmith. Nice and easy. He does have 10 Fate. We could see a Kachiko come out this turn. And the Dragon Player is on suitably low honor that this could easily go scorpion's way um i guess the real question is whether or not the dragon player can get rid of those critical cards and then use those to uh to stave off the dishonor effect does uh does the righteous magistrate cancel the air ring when it's defending that's something i'm not sure about because it should still be defending until the end of the conflict and then it doesn't go home until after the rings are claimed. No, no, it just says gain or lose honor. So it should actually cancel the air ring. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So that I was a bit puzzled as to why this card was in the deck, because you always want to be making your opponents lose honor, um, even when they're attacking. But I guess if it turns off the air ring, then it's just a free defense. But it looks like it will get clouded. If a dragon player can force his opponent to use his last calling in favours to take the cloud off the Righteous Magistrate to stop the air ring, that will be a fairly solid play. And of course, having only drawn one, if that's a display of power, Kitsuki Investigator can just ditch it out of the hand. So I think... Yeah, yeah I mean, you take the Watch Commander... But, I mean, Watch Commander's a way to make them lose on it. It's just going to get let go. Whereas if you take the Cloud the Mind, the Dragon Player has only played one let go and he has 10 cards in his hand. So uh, if you take Watch Commander, then it can be dropped off. If you move a Finger of Jade to stop an air ring, that's kind of efficient. Um, interesting. Midnight Revels in the row, which will take the Finger of Jade? This could be very big. So... Yeah, I don't know why he went void. Uh, air was the obvious choice here. Um, running into Midnight Revels, you don't want to use the Finger of Jade because then you can get immediately a fate worse than death so that the Revels bows the Investigator. Does he have any more conflict characters? So he's running three Ancient uh, Tattooed Wanderer. Uh, the odds are he hasn't drawn another one, so this is probably just a bounce conflict. Uh, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt. He can still use Kitsuki Investigator, of course, because, um, you know, because he's bowed, but at the conflict. Uh, 
but definitely, yeah. Yeah, conflict character now may be a bit of a liability because it's a target for Dishonor. Uh, but then you could just Dishonor the Swordsmith and the Doom Shigenger anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Johnny. I mean, getting rid of a backhanded compliment now sounds like a fairly good idea um, when you're on four honor. Did you get rid of a backhanded compliment? You could also get rid of a fate worse than death. Yeah, backhanded compliment, I think, is a good shout. Because there's so many good options. There's so many dishonor cards in this um, Scorpion player's hand at the moment. I mean, all he has to do is play two fate worse than death. You know, a backhanded compliment, and he's done. Use Kachiko to send someone home. And that's four honor right there. Especially because this air ring is still on the table. So attack political. Send home. Yeah, attack political, play Kachiko, or just a fate worse than death. And then send home the defender. Take the two air on defense. If you're going resto, the dragon player may spend an ornate fan to force you to break, which could be hilarious, uh, just to discard cards. And that could be huge, because you'd have to keep uh, backhanded compliment face worse than death, but it would get rid of, I suppose, the court games. Yeah, I think he has him as well. I mean, the fact that he's attacking now, and that he could have fate worse than death the defender with the favor... Um, and of course, you can't defend your honor duel against the alibi artist, so there's no cancels in the dragon player's deck to, um, you know, to to get that out of the way. I think this is going to turn into an unopposed conflict very quickly, and I think after that, at that two honor loss, we're just going to see the rest of the honor melt away. Still, never count a dragon player out. We'll see what he does. Um, You know, I wonder, I'm really wondering, actually, is maybe the die show just didn't show up. I mean, he's got 10 cards in his hand. He's seen half his conflict deck, but sometimes it just doesn't show up. And that might be why he didn't buy right Sugu. Because otherwise, buying right Sugu and getting the die show on would save you in this matchup. Um, just for the honor bleed every turn with the two jewels. Miramoto Dojo, right Sugu, honor bleed every turn. For two honor. And then you're in a much healthier position. And then also that turn to, I mean, I would have, I definitely against this Scorpion deck, I would have dropped my honor bid on turn two. I don't think I, you know, you might bid five turn one, but, you know. Yeah, but if Scorpion doesn't attack, then that's fine. You know, you just have right Sugu on the board. He doesn't need to attack either. You attack with other people and then Scorpion can never attack you unless they want to run into right Sugu. But the, the thing is, they just buy these dashes and then they can attack anyway. But it's not quite the same. Magistrate would prevent the die show from working. Because, of course, honor can't be exchanged if you are dueling. That is true. But then there's so many clouds and things for this uh, magistrate. Uh, we know he's got at least one in his hand. So I think I think you, you definitely find a way to deal with the magistrate. Um, because it, <laughs> you could still write Sugu, right? The magistrate would be dead by now if uh, if Right Sugu had hit the board when he flipped. I don't think buying this Katsuki investigator was the wrong decision, but I think at this point you could have both out, um, and you'd be fine because you do have three reprieves in your deck, so you could probably have bought both. But it is tricky. I mean, it's certainly tricky for Dragon because we need a lot of cards. And sort of how... Oh, I've disconnected. I wonder what's going on there. Hopefully it's just me and not the game. Uh, oh, we're out of the game. Let's have a look. Where's it gone? Scotland. Here we go. Oh, that's all or nothing. Great. Uh, what are you doing to me, computer? I don't know where that came from. Uh, right, one, two, three, four. Secret passwords for Discord League games. Uh, it is not letting me back in. This is not a good sign. Hmm. I'm just going to go and see to the lobby and see if people have been kicked out. 
No. Maybe just me. No games currently in progress. I need to press cancel. No, I press cancel. There are no games currently in progress. Which means it's crashed. Oh. Oh, that is harsh. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> I mean, this is one of those tricky situations. I mean, I think that there's a good conversation here uh, where the Scorpion player could just say, look, this is what I was going to do. Uh, if you're happy with that and you think you didn't have anything to deal with it, then uh, are you happy that I take the win? I think that's a perfectly adult way to handle these sort of situations. Um, just be like, catch co, fate worse than death, court games. Um, yeah, I, I know, but this game was potentially like three or four minutes away from ending. I think it's worth having a conversation where both players put their cards on the table and you just say, could you have done anything against this? Um, are you happy for me to take the win? But, of course, the rules say that if there's a crash, it's a replay. So both of them could, uh, you know, the Dragon player as well within his rights to just say, no, let's replay this game. But I think if I was the Scorpion player, I would certainly have that conversation. Because I think from our side, given how much visibility we had over his hand, uh, it seemed very clear that he was heading into Kinch up the win. And I think, you know, I, I'm trying to think what the Dragon player could have had at hand that would have held it off. Um so we'll see we'll see uh it probably will be a replay uh yeah if he had two finger of jades maybe finger of jade would stop i mean what would it stop it would stop the fate worse than death it could stop the kachiko i guess after that the scorpion player's out of fate still taking the air ring drops you down to three yeah so then he can't dishonor you this turn but that's the only thing. I mean, if he if he if he has anything other than two finger of jades, it doesn't really work. So, because you could do reprieve and die show on the shugenja, boost it with the stronghold, and then duel with the dojo for one, which would be hilarious. But yeah, yeah, I guess we'll never know. I'm I'm sorry that it's ended that way. Obviously not my fault, but uh, it would have been sort of interesting to see the scorpion player end out this game. It did seem like he was playing a bit. Roughly, I would say, uh, losing that uh, Hidden Moon Dojo, not playing Assassinate when we thought he should. Uh, but clearly the power of the Scorpion deck on the Dishonor is that it can kinch it out. Especially if you make a mistake and bid into 5-1, when really you should drop maybe down to 3 or something like that, which I think I called on the second turn. Are we positive that it's not my fault? Well, I have very good internet. I've got a fiber line that goes to my house. Um... And as far as I know, I have no power to crash servers. I've never tried, but I'm fairly sure I would fail at it, given I have very little computer programming skill at all. So I'm going to go with I'm not the one who's at fault here. Plus, there were nine other people who were watching that stream as spectators. So maybe there were just too many people watching one stream. Oh, thank you, Action Johnny. Thank you. Um, I do have faith, I guess. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see. I'm sure there's more games. I think uh, USA versus Scotland was also going on now. Uh, Mine's Desire is streaming that. Um, but uh, that has probably crashed as well. So um, you may have to wait a bit before the next uh, Discord League game comes up. Homecoming is a, nah, it's a prime okay, original so ad. Okay, never mind. Right, I'm going to log off. And, and um, comes next. if I pick up another game in a bit later, then I'll let everyone know. No, there were three games on at the same time. <laughs> now there's zero games on at the same time. Uh, and I don't know, they, you know, it's not always the wisest decision to just replay in this instance because you don't know what caused the crash. So we'll see uh, if they decide to just go straight back into the games. Because it is a, it is tiring to lose an hour long game to a crash uh, and then go straight back in. I think. Uh, anyway, I'm sure there will be more L5R to watch, so uh, I'll see you guys later.